Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Every day in Texas public schools, they made us do the Texas Pledge of Allegiance. Really? Totally not weird to make little, little kids pledge allegiance to a state government before they know what they're talking about. Totally fine. Texas wanted to secede from the Union for a while. Dude. Anyway. <laughs> that wasn't really kind of funny, but <laughs> in a little, terrible way. Little, little <laughs> Anyway, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, remember the Alamo. Remember the Alamo, yeah, I've yeah. been there. So, on the subject of patriotism in the 4th of July, let's talk about independence. Okay, so, Elder L. Tom Perry, mm. he was a giant, like, literally, he was a very tall, tall, very tall man. large man. He was an apostle. Um, well, back in, what year was it? Back in 1974, so the church was celebrating the bicentennial of the United States of America, um, and there was a question in the ensign that Elder Perry answered. The question was, what about the saints in other lands? How do you hope they will respond to this bicentennial emphasis of the church? Because they're celebrating bicentennial of the United States, yeah. uh, and the church is a worldwide church. So Elder Perry said, we hope they would thank the Lord for providing a cradle for the restoration. It is through this nation and its human and financial resources that they have been blessed with the gospel message and its present-day program. We are not asking saints in other lands to become bicentennially involved, only the American saints. We think the celebration pattern we're establishing here is one that can be used whenever appropriate in other lands. In the church, there is a bond that binds us together, which knows no national boundaries. However, we, of course, want all members in all lands to be good citizens. So... We want to talk about what he first set up there about the United States being the cradle of the restoration. Yeah. And it's not so much about the United States of America. It's about a land where there was freedom to believe as, as, as you want. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people think to be a Latter-day Saint, you have to be intrinsically tied with, you know, the American dream and stuff like that. But you really don't. The gospel was restored in the United States because of religious freedom. Um, it couldn't be restored in Europe because they had a lot of, you know, uh, state religions and their theocracies in the East. But in the U.S., they had this sort of wild idea of letting people believe what they want. A so, revolutionary. Uh, yeah. In fact, Literally, there was a war. There was a war to allow people <laughs> to have freedom of their own religion. Yeah. And if you think about it, I mean, we I think we take advantage of it because we've lived with freedom of religion. And, and it's kind of a, 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 in many places in the world, they have that freedom now. But... Back in the day, I mean, look at look at Christ. He came to establish his church and his gospel, and yeah. they killed him, and yeah. they killed his apostles, and it fizzled out, and there was a great apostasy for a long time. And so, uh, I mean, I think that the Lord restored his church as soon as he could, because mm -hmm. obviously he's not going to infringe on people's agency. Yeah. Um, and so when the circumstances came together, uh, for religious freedom to be a reality, that's where Joseph Smith was. That's that's when the restoration happened. Now, a lot of people, um, when they hear this, they're sometimes a little skeptical because, um, especially a lot of people in, 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 who are Native American and in South America, they go, wait a minute, wait a minute. Our ancestors were massacred by, you know, Christian colonialists. So I think people, when we say this, they think that, like, we're celebrating that. We're not. Mm -hmm. We're not, no, that, we think that was evil. We think murdering people was wrong. I think I kind of look at it personally in the way of like um, when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den um, and, you know, uh, his brothers meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Um, and so God took that evil situation and mm -hmm. did something good with it. So we just think, I think that's important to note. We're not saying that massacring was good. It was bad. Good point. I wanted to point that out because I know that's actually a tough topic for some people. So No, yeah, yeah. it is. So Latter-day Saints all around the world, there are more saints outside of the U.S. than in the U.S. We are not an American religion. We are a religion for all of God's children. Um, so we celebrate this just because it's in our country. But, you know, in your respective countries, there's probably really cool holidays that are awesome. El Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, and you can. I don't know what that means. El Cinco de Mayo. Uh, yeah, the, 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 when, when uh, the Mayo sinks. And so it's really good that you can, uh, you can have those holidays for yourself, and then you can realize how God's probably done amazing things in your countries, too, to allow the gospel to be there. We know this episode is going to be up. You're probably not going to see it right when we post it, but I really, I just, I just want to quote the Independence Day speech. All right. Go. Today, wait, up. Oh, he's got his little microphone. Can I take this? Let me take this. 
<laughs> They're gonna know it's not a Good real morning. mic. <laughs> Good morning. All I remember is today we celebrate our independence day. Oh, I know the speech. You know the whole yeah, thing? Yeah. <clears throat> Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I, John F. Kennedy, hereby commemorate the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the United States of America to be a promised land and things of that nature. And I hope that everyone can realize how amazing it is. It's the best country. There's no better country. There's no better country. There's no better country. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've seen a Mormon temple. I've seen a Mormon temple. And let me tell you, if I was in, if I was in charge of the Mormon temples, it'd be a lot more gold. There'd be a lot more gold in a golf course. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. I guarantee. You that. <laughs> to the channel. Yes, uh, click the notification bell. Wait, that's a terrible wrap-up, isn't it? Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, social media, Twitter, Facebook. Send us a message, comment below, share this video with your friends, and um, um, what else do we say? Um, cheers. Cheers.